All right, coach. Before we get to coach, left, Shannon Gord. Right, Princess Clements. Okay. Uh, well, uh, you know, good to win. Good to get on the correct side of the win-loss column. Um, thought we took care of business. I was really pleased with our second half. Um, I thought in the first half we were a little wild and stuff defensively. Um, tried to make a lot of things happen, um, <clears throat> which I think we were playing uh, with a decent amount of effort. Um, just kind of out of position on different things, and we—I thought we did a better, much better job in the second half, just settling down and, and playing, and um, you know held them to ten points, um, rebounded the ball a lot better in the second half. So I uh, was pleased with that. Um, thought we were a lot more aggressive on offense in the right fashion in the second half. Um, you know, shooting percentage is still pretty low. Um, I don't have an answer for that other than I want them to keep shooting. Um, and uh, eventually, I think the lid will come off, and it'll be be a lot easier to, you know, w win basketball games and hang in there and, and stuff like that. So um, that's my that's my opening foray. I know it sounds kind of you know just belaboring the point, but how important was it just to get a win going into Thanksgiving break? Just get that momentum and then come back from break a little bit fresh and, and ready to go? I think it's important, you know. I think it's important, but I guess, you know, how we respond on Sunday is really, if you know, that that's going to tell the tale. But I certainly feel better, <laughs> you know. I know we've been really pressing. Um, I, they, uh, they're a group that works hard. Um, and, uh, you know, it's hard, to, it's hard to go to work every day. And, when you come out here and the lights come on, it doesn't quite go the way you want it to go. So, um, you know, I think today's a really good start, but it also, you know, it's going to roll right into tomorrow and the preparation for Appalachian State on for the game on Sunday. You know, it's going to be another road game, which we've been on the road quite a bit already this year. Um, you know, it's going to take it's going to take everybody pulling together in the same direction, and we're going to have to have a <laughs> great focus on the scouting report and the things that we're going to do to try to counter um, what a good Appalachian State team does. So um, I think it is important. We've got to turn it into, um, you know, real momentum with preparation and another good game on, on Sunday. What sequence in the third quarter? And, and third quarter, obviously, you all took the game over defensively. But it seemed like the effort, they weren't playing the score. They were playing basketball. Uh, I think TP had three offensive rebounds on the same possession. There's a turnover. She hustles down and takes a charge. It's, are those the little things that sort of help you all turn the corner, though? Uh, you certainly hope so. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought that was a that was a possession that we played with some fire and some passion for sure. And uh, you know, I think a little bit it that's the tail of our team, though. Because I, I, the the other side of that possession was Kadeja Brooks just stroking jump shots, and she could really shoot the ball, and she we couldn't get one of them to go in. <laughs> you know, and TP was flying around getting getting uh, rebounds. And for whatever reason right now, we, we can't get them to, to go in there at the rate that I, I believe, and I tell them every day, I believe they're going to go in at a higher rate, you know. And um, it's, it's eventually going to happen for us. There's really good offensive players in our locker room. There's good shooters in there. And they just got to keep working. They got to keep working. But uh, I know the possession you were talking about. Um, you know, she, you know, TP played her tail off and then ultimately uh, got a charge on the other end. We got it right back. So, um, you know. I like their fire in the second half for sure. Coach, you didn't just play 12, but you played them a minimum of five minutes. I mean, that's got to be great for your team. And everybody scores for one player is, is really, you know, it, it. you haven't been able to probably have the luxury to do some of that when you've been pressing, as you say. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good to get everybody in there. And I thought, you, you know, I, I think that uh, there's a lot of people making contributions, you know, and um, I think that uh, I think that everybody's starting to understand their role a little bit better, and I think that uh, you know we're all still growing together though as well. I mean, we we are trying to figure out, and I'm trying to figure out the right combinations to have in there. Um, you know, I thought Princess was really aggressive tonight. Um, you know, she was physical, and that that's something that we need. You know, we need a personality like that in there sometimes, and um, you know, so I was happy to see some of that. But it's a you know, right now it's a puzzle. It's early in the year. And we, uh, you know, we, we, we have an interesting team because a lot of them have experience. A lot of them have experience here. We don't really have a lot of experience together, <laughs> you know.
you know. And uh, so trying to figure out how we all fit, I think, is in the – that's where we're at right now. And, uh, you know, today was – I think it was a good good step forward, you know. I asked for more and a little bit different in the second half. That's exactly what we got, you know. We got we got more effort, and we, we wanted to make some adjustments defensively, and that's what we got, you know. And that – I have told them and complimented them on that all year is they're – you know they're they're listening and trying to make it make it happen. So if, as long as we do that, we'll continue to improve, and then you know I think this team will get to get to playing some pretty good basketball. Princess, for you, the, the comfort level starting to get there. You talked about the energy, and, and it, it seemed like there's a different level of explosiveness with you today. Um, yeah, I'm just coming in, I'm trying to like <sighs> this year. It's like I'm trying to like get my feet wet a little bit, you know. So I'm just doing what my team needs. Shannon, for you, I know, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Toller being on the other side, it, it creates a little bit of an interesting dynamic. Uh, a lot of Logan <laughs> Logan fans here, Wayne fans here. Is that kind of a, a unique feel for for a day game, Thanksgiving week? It's like, hey, it's sort of, sort of like, feels like home. Uh, yeah, uh, but I thought where it was going to be a 1 o'clock game, I was kind of like on the iffy side of like, are we going to have a lot of people there or are we not? Coach Gertz tried to surprise us. And my mom kind of gave it away because everybody knows my mom's mouth. Um, she gave it away yesterday on FaceTime, said, your coach is going to be there. So, And I knew he was bringing the high school team, and my AAU coach was there, and it did feel like home. But not just today, it's the past three years I felt like home here. Is that sort of when you know that the high school team's coming, though, does it sort of give you a little bit of that edge, like, all right, hey, I've, I've got yeah. to show up and look? Cause, I mean, I didn't play with the girls that are there now, but they know – I've been at Logan, and uh, they kind of want to keep that program going. What from what my group did, and from what like Hannah Tozeman did, they were also here supporting Holly. Holly plays for Bluefield, and Holly actually transferred to Logan last year, or the year or I think it was her junior year. So uh, it was kind of a good game for them to come to. They got to watch me, and they got to watch Holly. So we did have a good crowd. Yeah, I was, we did. I was happy with that. If you look over from the beginning of the season to now. What are some skill things you think you're doing better as a team and maybe individually some pickups? I think our execution of, you know, definitely on the offensive end is improving. Um, you know, and it, it, I kind of, I'm, I'm just beating on this a little bit, but, you know, I think we are, I think our shot selection has improved and I'm just waiting for, I'm just waiting for it to start to go in a little bit more. And, uh, you know, I thought today we, we shot 33 threes. I thought they were the right shots, you know. I um, thought they were the right shots. And, um, you know, when, when, uh, when you don't watch it go in, you, you got you to gotta work outside of the games and you got to put in the time so that you know that that thing's a good shot so you don't, you know, you don't waver when you get ready to shoot it. And uh, I try to really harp on that. Um, and I try to let them know that, that that's the right shot for us. And, uh, you know, I, like I said, I think we've really improved on that. Like when we went up to Bowling Green, we shot, I mean, if it touched our hands, we, we let it fly, you know. And uh, that didn't make our defense any easier. And if you look at these numbers, it looks like we let it fly. And in reality, there was some pretty good ball movement there, and it ended up, you know, where it ended up. And that's the right shot for us to take. And, um, you know, so I think I've seen improvement there. Um, you know, we, we put together a – I thought we put together a pretty good defensive effort tonight. I thought we did the same thing at Southern Illinois. You know, I mean, we went on the road and held them to 58. Um, you know, you'd like to have – you'd like to have a shot, you know, with the ball to win that game, and we just couldn't quite play good enough offense to do it. So, they're, they're getting better. And, you know, we're getting better. Like I said, we're kind of a puzzle right now that we're a little scattered and we're trying to put it all together. And uh, I think that there's there's definitely strides in that. Um, these two are part of that, um, you know. But we're we're figuring it out. Are there individual players that are significant contributors to these things that you mentioned that makes your team better? Is there anybody that's really stood out in your mind? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I mean, obviously, I think the. The, the group that's in there to start with, they, they have earned being in there with their practice habits and, and the way they do things like that. I think, I think that Kia Sivils has, is a real spark for us defensively. I mean, she can change the game on defense. Um, and, uh, you know, that has been something, uh, 
uh, her athleticism and her she she doesn't really get she doesn't really get hung up on what's on this you know she she plays you know she doesn't care if she shoots or not she plays really hard and uh, <clears throat> that's been she's helped our defense you know so uh, you know I think that I think Princess is coming around I think today was a really good step for her she had eight eight rebounds I think and uh, that shows some aggressiveness out of her. Um, you know, she, uh, I like the way she carries herself. She, uh, I think she identifies herself as a, as, as a really good basketball player. And I think like she told you, she's trying, she's feeling it out right now, you know. And I, I think one of my messages to them is stop feeling it out. You know, it's not that complicated. When that ball's up there, go get it. You know, when it's on the ground, go get it. If you're open, shoot it, you know. If there's a if there's a lane, drive it, and uh, you know, I, I thought we did that in the second half. I thought our aggressiveness was across the board, the right times, um, offense and defense. You know, and uh, so we're, we're coming around. As much as, or maybe even more than the tangible things that show on the stats. Well, it really matters. I mean, yeah. it, I mean, it, that it's a huge thing in in sports and basketball. You know, basketball is such a uh, you just have to, you can't have a very long memory, you know, because you, if you miss one, you get you better go back and play defense. You know, if you give one up down there, then you got to run on offense. You know, if you get a stop, you can't really hang on to that very long because you got to turn right back around and do it again. So, you know, yeah, intangibles really matter, and um, you know, I think this group is trying to find uh, what they're good at, what their role is, and how they can help, and uh, you know. Side, your left side and your right side, what she can do with it. Well, she, I mean, Shayna, obviously, she's a heck of an offensive player. You know, we went up to Bowling Green and she, she had a great offensive night. You know, tonight she was, uh, she went seven for 11. You know, she had two to one assist to turn them. So she, she does that. Um, I think that, uh, I think that she can continue to help us defensively, which her and I talked about that a little bit today. Um, you know, but she's got to she's got to produce. Um, you know, when she gets open, she got to jump up there and stroke it for us. You know, and she's fully capable of that. Um, and uh, do you see her doing some things as a veteran player? Oh yeah. An intangible thing, leadership type thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you know, that's kind of what I'm saying about that. You know, she's part of that first group. So, um, you know, they're. They're in there for a reason. They consistently practice well, so you, I mean, you would put her in that group. You know, she, uh, she's been here for a long time, so she understands um, the terminology of how we're going to play certain people. I mean, she, she understands all that. You know, so yeah, she, she brings intangibles too, and she also brings the ability to go for 22 or 34. You know. Coach, uh, coming into this game, obviously you guys are having 17 turnovers per game. You only have 12 tonight, and this could be for you, the players as well. Do you guys feel like you're all starting to, I guess, get it more and make smarter decisions with the ball as the season goes on? I'll let them answer that. That's. Uh, yeah, I think so because it comes off what Coach said. Um, we're executing our offense better. Uh, we're getting a feel for each other each game. We're taking that step each game of understanding what our role is and what we're supposed to do, and that's going to lead to no turnovers. It's going to lead to rebounds and baskets. So, I feel like we're doing a better job at just being basketball players and not overthinking anything. Because when you overthink stuff, that's when bad stuff happens. So you should play. It's kind of coming easier. Yeah. yeah. Good summary then would be work in progress. Yep, I think that's right. You know, I think that's right. We got we got a lot of tough tests ahead. You know, starting in Boone on on Sunday, Sunday afternoon. I'll go to Boone if you let me go to Daniel Boone and Brooke. We got.